I'm in my kitchen trying to figure out what I want to make myself to eat. And I just came back from Joanne Fabrics because this morning I got up and I made a top. So I saw this top online that I thought was really cute. I went to my scrap box and I found this gray cable knit fabric and I decided to use that for the top portion of the top. Then I ran to Walmart because I didn't have any other fabric to use to try to make the top. So I purchased this polyester fabric and I used that for the bottom half of the top. And I like the way it came out. It does remind me of the inspiration picture. And the only thing is I did not worry about trying to match up these side seams. So that's going to be something that I'm going to have to work on when I'm making the real garment because I think if the side seams here don't match, it will be really noticeable and I want to try my best to get those to line up. So this is what I worked on this morning. Now I still have some of this gray cable knit left. So for the real garment, my plan is to do the same thing and use this cable knit for the top portion. Then from Joanne Fabrics, I'm going to use this cable knit for the bottom portion of the top. So that's what I'm going to be working on. I just need to throw this fabric in the washing machine, get that going, then I'll cut everything out and get started. So to make this top, what I did was first I took the front pattern piece and I traced it out. I actually took this paper and folded it in half and then I cut this out on the fold and then when I opened it up I had a full piece, a full front like this. Then I also traced out the sleeves and I traced two sleeves because the line is different. This line is a little lower than this line and I want the line in the sleeves to match up so I had to cut out two separate sleeve pieces. What I did next is I drew the design line across the front of the top. And before I cut this apart, I took the sleeve piece. Now for the sleeve, you have a front and then you have a back. So the front will have one notch. After I drew in my design line, I put a mark right where the design started, the design line where I would be cutting away. So I put a mark here and I put a mark here on the other side. This is the line that I will be cutting on. Next, I took the sleeve pattern and I made sure that I had the front with one notch and I'm going to place it on each sleeve opening. So I started on this side and I'm pretty much just truing everything up. So I knew that I had the green line here where the design line starts. And so I put the sleeve down and then once I got to that design line, I drew a line on the sleeve. Then what I did was on the sleeve that I traced, I drew a line across horizontally and I cut the pattern on that line. So this is going to be separated. I just have these taped together so you can see what I did. And once I drew that line across, then I cut it. So I'm going to have a top sleeve which will be in one color and then the bottom sleeve will be in another color. I did the same thing for the other sleeve. So I took the sleeve pattern and I went to the other armhole opening and I flipped the sleeve over like this. And remember I had the mark at the design line. I think things have shifted, but I think you'll get the idea. And then I took the sleeve and placed it on the bodice or on the top and I marked where the design line is, which is this green line here. And then I drew a line on my sleeve pattern again, horizontally, and this was on the other sleeve pattern. So I put S2, so 
sleeve two, sleeve two, so that I'll know what to sew together. And then this one I put S1, S1, so I know that these two go together once they're separated. After I cut out all the pieces, I just sewed the pattern up. I started out by sewing these two pieces together. I did add seam allowance to all the pieces that were cut apart. So seam allowance to this, to this portion here. This is going to be separated. So this is the top portion that's gonna be in the gray cable knit. This is the bottom portion. These two will get sewn together. And then for the sleeves, it's the same thing. These will be separated. And this will be in gray. And this will be in the other color. I don't know what that other color is, if it's green or blue. I thought it was green, but when I was at Joanne, the lady referred to it as green. But yeah, so then I'm going to separate this and I will cut out the top portion of the other sleeve in this gray cable knit and then the other color will be cut out of this piece for the sleeve. And then I'll put everything together and hopefully, like I said, I can match up the sleeve seams when I'm sewing. You can use any top that you like to use. I'm just using this bodysuit Simplicity 8513. I'm using this as a base and I did cut the pattern, but it's too short. So I am going to have to lengthen it quite a bit, about seven inches or so. And then I'm also going to lengthen the sleeves. I didn't cut out the full sleeve. I just wanted to try everything out first. So I will lengthen this about five more inches to get the length of the sleeve that I want. I'm not making any changes to the back pattern piece. So I'm gonna use this as is, cut out twice with a seam down the back. And I will also lengthen this the same amount that I'm going to lengthen the front piece. So I'm just gonna sit here and watch a little TV while my fabric is washing. I actually put my fabric in the dryer, so it's almost done. And I do have some lunch in the oven. So that should be done pretty soon too. Almost every time I turn on the TV, I go to Food Network. I love Food Network. I can watch that all day. And that's what I'm looking at right now. I have no idea what she is making right here, but it's definitely keeping me entertained. Right now, these pants that I'm wearing are McCall's 8408, the wide leg jean pattern. This is my outfit that I wore to uh, Joanne Fabrics today. I just threw this on something quick to get out the house and come right back. This was actually the first time that I wore these pants since I made them. I think I better stop eating this fruit because I won't want my lunch. I'll be full. So yeah, I think I'm going to take a break. I probably should have eaten this after I ate my lunch, but I was hungry. I kind of wanted something in the meanwhile. I only bought two yards of fabric, which I think should be enough. The only reason why I would, why am I doing that? I could use this. I got to get used to using this, <laughs> but um, the only reason why I'm thinking it may not be enough is because I need to lengthen these pieces, the front, the back, and the sleeves. So I pray that I don't run out of fabric. I tried to measure before I left to see or get a guesstimate of how much I need. So. Hopefully I guessed right because a lot of these pieces are only cut out one time. So that should help save some fabric too. And what did I say? I think I said I wanted to do seven inches on the front and the back and five. I put seven and a half and five and a half. So I'm just going to add the inches to the actual fabric instead of like lengthening the pattern piece. 
so that will save me a little paper and a little work so now I just need to measure down seven inches This is a little weird shape. I may have to cut this down a little bit because it's going out as an, at an angle and I want to make it go down. So I think I'm gonna have to adjust this before I can lengthen it and make these sides go down. Or you know what I'll do? I'm just gonna draw on the pattern right now. I'm gonna draw straight down and lengthen it that way then I can cut that off. Okay. Hopefully I'm not messing up anything, but we'll see, we'll see. Okay, that's much better. So I'm gonna go down seven inches from the edge or from the hem. So that's about uh, right here. And I'm gonna go down seven inches over here on this side. And then I'm going to draw a line across. I said seven and a half, but I think I was giving myself some room for like a narrow hem. But because I'm kind of concerned I may run out of fabric, I'm just going to do seven inches. Okay, now I'm going to connect the dots. Draw me a line. And then connect this line up to this line here. There we go. And then I'll do the same thing for the back. I hope I didn't mess this pattern up, but I'm just gonna pray that it works. All right, so I'm cutting this out. And I'm cutting it out with the right side of the fabric up and the right side of the pattern up also. Because I'm only cutting one of this front piece. It's already one whole piece so I don't have to like flip it or I don't have to do one and then turn it around and do the other. So I can just cut the pattern right out on the right side of the fabric. Now I think I'm gonna use my rotary cutter because it's paper here. I'm going around the triangle that I cut or I straightened out. It was a triangle and then I just straightened it. So I'm cutting that off with my rotary cutter so that I can prevent using my scissors for the paper. Now I'm going to use the scissors and finish going around. I can't wait to see how this turns out. Here is the sleeve pinned into the armhole and this is the area that needs to match up. So I put this pin in going this way into the seam, directly into the seam and I made sure that the pin was right in the seam on both sides and then I stitched over this area with the pin in there so I didn't remove the pin and here is the result. Whoa! It is matching. So let me show you what I have so far. I just have one sleeve in right now and this is the front of the top matching under the arm. So now I just need to go ahead and do this side and then I need to finish the neck edge and hem everything like the sleeves in the bottom and then the top will be done. I had more than enough fabric to make the top. So this is what I have left over and I've decided I'm gonna go ahead and make a skirt I like using this pattern McCall 7991 and I usually take the bottom half of this dress and use the skirt portion when I want a skirt so that's what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna shorten it because I don't think I have enough 
to make a long skirt so I'm just going to shorten it a little bit right here and cut this out on the fold and if I can put it together with the top then I'll actually turn it into a dress which is what I'm hoping I can do. I really like using this skirt pattern because piece number nine is the skirt front and it's also the skirt back. So it makes it really easy to work with. And I already put the skirt and the top together and it looks like they're going to match up just fine. So I will have a dress after all.